Governor Weld, you went a little bit further than just impeachment in your prior comments, and I just want to continue with that a bit. You said sure. that Donald Trump has committed treason, and the penalty for treason under American law is death. Do you, what's the legal framework here? Have you looked into this? What, uh, how do you see this proceeding? Well, the legal framework is under the U.S. Criminal Code. The only penalty for treason is death. It's spelled out in the statute. Under the Constitution, as you know, grounds for removal from office, impeachment and removal from any federal office are treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. We don't have to worry about bribery anymore, although I think he's committed that. We don't have to worry about other high crimes and misdemeanors, although I think he's committed many. He's such a lawless man. We've got treason, and we don't have to dribble around the court. We can go right for the hoop. But this president has been trying to cancel this election for months. He tried to cancel the New Hampshire first in the nation primary. Well, that went over like a lead balloon in New Hampshire, because they're not stupid. So the people of New Hampshire were really the first ones to stand up to President Trump this year. But the time has come. It's well past time for this guy, in my opinion, to be colloquial, to be carted off to save us all. He's daring us all to let him be totally lawless. He has no respect for the law. He doesn't understand the law. He has no knowledge base under any issues. Why do we want this man as president of the United States? I don't get it. And now the path is clear. It's a whole new level, and we have to count noses among the Republicans in the Senate. And if they won't say, this is a bridge too far for us, then they really, as, as uh, Congressman Walsh said, I totally agree with him, they have no chance at the ballot box next year. Not just President Trump, but those members of the Senate.